morning. We welcome the start of spring, also known as the vernal equinox. Uh, Weather Authority meteorologist Emily Sanum joins us now with what exactly happens during the equinox and just how spring like the end of March is shaping out to be. And I saw that you guys counted down this we morning. We did. Yeah. That was it was fun. Really it was like fun. the ball dropping at midnight. It, it basically was. And we were just like so excited to start this journey into spring. Exactly. Well, okay, we can get through the snow and the rain over the next week or so because we know there's light at the end of the yeah, tunnel. Exactly. Yeah. And I was saying too, inside it feels like it's such a big change and you know, spring like summer months are almost here. Yeah. But there's not much of a change outside really. No. We still have the same weather, but it's a different type of energy, I should it's say. It's the energy. It's all about the and it energy. It gets you more excited. It gets you more excited for camping and outdoor season and all this of biking. There's and things like that. Exactly. You know, there's hope. hope. hope you, like springs you said. the turtle. That's yeah. the Red Sox saying yeah. Yeah, right. right. All right. So you mentioned, Katie, how the start of spring is also known as the vernal equinox. So da -da -da -da, this fun graphic, the snow has gone, the grass comes out. It started this morning at 5.01 a.m. So the vernal equinox can occur on either March 19th, 20th or 21st. It usually starts on the 20th or 21st like this year. But in 2024, it began on the 19th, which is pretty uncommon. I was only been a couple really in the past, I would say 50, even 60, maybe even 70 years. Um, so it's not as common to see it start on the 19th. Today's also my grandma's birthday. So Aww, she opens happy up spring. Day. Happy birthday, grandma, watching? if you're watching. She may, I don't yeah. know. Happy birthday, grandma. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, it, another reason why I like spring. So let's talk <laughs> more about the vernal equinox. What exactly is happening? in space. So once again, first day of spring, it's when the center of the sun is directly over the equator. So everywhere on Earth has 12 hours of daylight and just about the same at night. So literally everywhere on Earth is having the same amount of time. Oh. So let's talk about the sunset track over the next couple of weeks. Uh, the sun does set at 6.53 tonight. I'm pretty sure it rose at 6.43 this morning. So just about 12 hours of daylight there. And as we really progress throughout the next couple of weeks, March 27th and a week from today, we'll already see 7 o'clock sunsets. By April 3rd, try 7.10. Wow. And April 10th, 7.18. So we're getting closer to those 8 or 7.30, 8 o'clock sunsets. And let's talk about how the rest of the month is playing out if we're going to see some spring-like conditions. Um, less rain, stuff like that. So here's the temperature outlook from NOAA's Climate Prediction Center. The gray on your screen, which is really our area, New Hampshire, Vermont, even all the really all over New England. That means that there's equal chances of either a warmer or cooler end to the March. This is for March 24th through 28th. Far Eastern Maine seeing a little bit of a warmer end, but it looks pretty wet. Unfortunately, it does, it does look pretty wet, but doesn't it, it's April showers bring May flowers. What about March showers? March showers bring April mud. summer. April sun, bring, maybe. No, yeah. it brings mud. That's why we call it the mud season. <laughs> I <yeah>. know. <laughs> so it does look like a pretty wet end. And you know what? We do have a pretty wet pattern right now. Um, but just know that the light to the end of the tunnel is almost here. We have the spring vibes right now. You can be happy on a rainy yeah. day. Yeah, and the last week of March is next week. I know. Can you yeah. believe that? It's like I, 31st, I think. I could handle a wet end of March if it means no snow in April and a beautiful summer. I'm crossing my fingers. Last year we had a pretty intense April snowstorm. Yeah, oh I yeah. I was making snowmen out there. Like, that was some wet snow. I lost power. It was nuts. Yeah, and I remember my uh, son's baseball team had to practice indoors for like a month. Yes. Uh, because so many practices, yep. all those spring sports, they had to be uh, postponed, you know? Exactly. And I just can't wait for May and June. Sooner or later, we'll be talking about the summer solstice, too, Ooh. which is later on in June. Um, it, may, it may seem far away <laughs> right now, but like we've been saying, it's going to fly by. Yeah. I mean, the next couple of weeks are going to fly by. It's going to be summer vacation. I know I'm saying it pretty early, but it's just around the corner, really, yeah. and we can only go up from here. All right, bring on summer. That's what I say. <laughs> I like to skip right through spring and get to summer. Like, really? I don't need I the like vernal equinox. I want the uh, summer. <laughs> summer, summer and fall. I, okay, can we make April and May summer months? Wouldn't that be great? April I love and May. That. So I, I, love I think it. that May and June may be the best months of the entire year. I've told you this a few times, Katie. Just because the transition into summer and it's not too hot, mm. but it's not too cold. I not going to convince me. I'm an no. August September I'm fan. I'm sorry, guys. Uh, and then like the hope of fall yeah, foliage. Exactly. But I still love sp flowers and all of that. So yeah. I, I do appreciate spring. And right, you know what? So. If you love it, that's great. You yeah. go ahead and you do <laughs> your it's thing. It's grandma's yeah. birthday. It's it grandma's is grandma's birthday. birthday. That's for grandma. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you have any weather related questions, maybe about the vernal equinox, more on that, summer solstice, anything uh, within those topics, you can always email us at weather at WGME.com.